All right, what a great game in high school girls basketball we have for you tonight. Two undefeated teams going head to head. Milbury and Grafton packed house. It had drama, it had great play, it had it all. Let's take you out now to the Woolly Swamp for all the highlights. The Grafton crowd out in force, welcoming Andy Lacombe. And they were ready as the Indians ready for Milbury. Grafton led by two at the half. Third quarter, Shannon Reno. Spots up, knocks down the three. Milbury's up by three. More from Shannon Reno. Another three. She had 15 points, and the Woolies are up by eight. Worcester State coach Karen Tesmer, always good at recruiting the local kids. Watching the game, Gigi LeMay hitting a three for Grafton, and the Indians are down by five. Milbury's Michaela Mitchell. Great move. Hoop in the half. Count it, the three-point play, giving the Woolies an eight-point lead. Anya Kopira with a three, and Grafton is within five. LeMay, the all-time leading scorer in Grafton girls hoop history, hits it. Back and forth we go. Samantha Brady spots up, knocks down the long jumper. Milbury up five. Mitchell right down Main Street, shielding the defense. She had 15 points. Milbury up seven. Abby Rogers and Grafton battling throughout. Good hoop. Not enough, though. Milbury wins 53-43. Your final, the Woolies are still undefeated. Jimmy Riley, one of the all-time best. One of your officials tonight, Northbridge and Uxbridge, the Battle of the Bridges in girls' hoop. First quarter, Northbridge's Maria Cray. Knocking it down, Rams up by five. Cray, sweet move right here. A little step through the defense. She had 14 points, Northbridge up by seven. Uxbridge's Olivia Hicks, just a sophomore. The rebound, the hoop and the harm. Jacqueline Puda. Two of her 13 points for the Rams, nothing but net on the baseline for the Northbridge Rams, and they're up six. Hicks following her own shot, putting back the rebound. She had 14, Uxbridge down by four. Ashley Sinosk feeding Mary McLaughlin for two. Then it is Sinosk. The strong drive, the layup, Northbridge up six. Northbridge goes on to win this one, 52-38. Northbridge is nine and two, six and oh in the swickle. Holy name, hosting Quaybog in girls' hoop. Holy name, by the way, six freshmen on the roster. Couple start, four and two, four to two, Quaybog up in the first quarter. And that's Kayla Klein to Lexi Paquette. Cougars up by four. Quaybog shot off the mark. Jillian Rothier right there for the putback. Cougars up three. Janai Edmonds from beyond the arc ties up the game. Edmonds is just a freshman. Emma Stanton with a three of her own. Cougars up by five. Edmonds taking it to the den off the glass. Naps down by three. Shayla Dorman going coast to coast with the scoop. Cougars extending their lead to five. Logan Lornell beyond the arc for Holy Name. Naps, naps down by two. Holy Name going inside. Juliet Golden. She is just a freshman. The hoop and the hack and the naps are up by one. Edmonds, the runner. Holy name up by five. Second quarter, Sophia Massarelli with a three. Naps up by nine. Michelle Riley taking it to the den. Holy name up 11. Riley's just a sophomore. Holy name goes on to win this one. 60 to 41 is your final. The Battle of Breezy Bend for the kids at Lester and David Prouty High Schools. That's all you need to say. It is one of the great rivalries in Central Mass. Tomorrow night, it is boys hoop, adding another chapter to that rivalry. And you can bet that the undefeated David Prouty boys basketball team will be ready for Lester. Definitely a different atmosphere, just with Lester, with any sport, really. Thanksgiving, same thing. But uh, it's always a good game against Lester, you know. It's going to come down to the wire, probably. I think our keys to being Lester on Friday night is obviously be aware of Matt Morrow. And they have a few new, uh, new guys coming in, so just be aware of them, too. It's a great atmosphere, and everybody comes from the school pretty much. So it gets like very excited in here and loud and everything. And it'll be fun to play in it. All right, it is going to be fun to play in. It's going to be fun for us to broadcast as well. Tomorrow night, 7 p.m. live right here on Charter TV 3. It is the Battle of Breezy Bend. Lester and David Prouty, we will tip it off live at 7 p.m. All right, St. John's Prep and St. Peter Marion boys hockey tonight. First period. 
the prep with some great passing. David Sacco with the goal, 1-0 St. John's prep in front. Then more from the prep, shot on through traffic. Tyler Ledoux the save. Prep, good passing. Rister from the slot, Ledoux, nice save. Squaring up to the shooter. Prep continuing to pressure. The one-timer in the slot from Paul Edson. He scores, and it's 2-0 Eagles. More prep. Shot is blocked, but right to Sacco. Sacco dents the twine, 3-0 St. John's prep. KJ Sarney with the slapper. Joe Bevere poking it in. 4-0 St. John's prep. Another blast. Ledoux, good save, and he holds on. More from the prep, the long slapper. Ledoux gloves it. Good passing. In the slot, point blank. Ledoux, solid save. St. John's prep gets the win, though. 9-0 is your final tonight. Congratulations to WPI women's basketball coach Sharice Galasso. She got her 300th career win tonight. So congratulations wow. to Sharice. She's done a phenomenal job with that WPI team. And always great for me to see St. John's prep hockey out there. I remember as a kid going to the Boston Garden with my father watching Bobby Carpenter play for the prep, former number one overall pick in the NHL draft, U.S. kid, kid from Massachusetts, and uh, he was on the cover of Sports Illustrated. It was a big deal back then. Absolutely. That's our show for tonight. For Kevin Shea, I'm Catherine Andrioli. Thanks for watching Worcester News Tonight. We'll see you back here tomorrow at 6. Good night.